Hello, in this video we are going to install a BOSS Activity LED light indicator for a USB adapter. It's not the classic LED light that keeps turned on all the time and works as decor, but a light that blinks while you are using the data. Why would you want a USB memory stick with both light when you know it's working just because you are using data in the pen drive? There are many devices working on standby, so it's the case with my TV recorder. You may think it's turned off, but it's really recording a TV program to the pen drive. How do you know this device is properly working when it only shows the LED on red color and nothing else happens? Well, let's turn it on and see. It's recording a previously scheduled TV broadcast. The only way to know TV show is being recorded properly is watching at the pen drive blinking LED light, otherwise there's nothing else but blindly trust. Buying a new pen drive with BOSS LED indicator may be a solution, but when there are no stores selling that product, it's a pain. That's why we are trying to install an indicator LED for a USB adapter. Here we have a USB adapter for micro SD cards. As we can see, it works, but has no light at all. Let's start opening the housing and making some tests with the pins on the phenolic plate, testing some LED diodes. We found that there are just two pins able to work as boss activity indicator for LED diodes. These are to be found near the plate front central area. Knowing the positive wire is near the USB pins and negative is near the main circuit, we must try to solder the LED anode to the positive and the cathode to the negative pole. The main problem is the huge LED size, there is no room for this kind of lights. The pins are made for micro LED diodes, but it's almost impossible for me to get one of them, so I had to try it cutting and sending a standard size diode. We are trying out the LED on the plate, just to see if it's ok to connect here. The soldering process is the most difficult to work, we had to cut the LED wires as short as possible, so it fits inside the casing, but it was really impossible. After a while soldering, we realized this is not going to work, so the lead was moved on to fit on the casing when... Ya me volé la pista. <laughs> the pins on the board just broke down. There's almost nothing to do, let's try to fix it, but now there is nothing to connect the cathode. Even with a restoration, the lead won't fit into the casing. For now, we just make a test in order to know if we are connecting to the right place. Mm. 
as we can see everything is properly working no short circuits and the LED is blinking while I use the connected tablet by now we have understood that many of these adapters have pins for indicator LEDs but the manufacturers have refused to install them in order to decrease their production costs leaving us nothing but cheap plastics with low quality and great chances of failures Further, the lack of bus activity indicator lights. Este cuánto cuesta 20? Sí. Sí. Now it's the time to try again. I bought a brand new USB multi adapter. Now I have asked for a big one. The price was one dollar. The packing says it has LED light for bus activity, monitoring view and edit data from the reader, and drag and drop files between cards. Wow, you must think it, this is amazing. Further, it says drop play from memotic card port. Lies, all lies. It's a nice card reader keychain made of cheap plastic. It has four card ports, but unable to work with more than one card at a time. No way to draw power from any port and of course no indicator LED light for boss activity. Settle for reading the card from the tablet. Let's disassemble it and take a look inside. We can see those two pins. It was pretended there will be a LED diode. We must connect the LED here. Even one of the point is marked with a positive sign. It means put here the anode, then the cathode on the other pin. This time we are going to use a thin cable and a small LED. Proceeding cautiously. This is going to be a difficult challenge. Having patience is the key. Even the smallest LED in the store is too big for this deep casing, so the best option is stick it at one side of the card reader. Here we have the indicator LED properly working with the action of the tablet. Now we must make some little holes with the soldering iron so the light turns more visible. Now you know how is installing an activity indicator LED light to a card reader. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and have a nice day.